I've been running into camera problems today, and so it's taking me just a little time here to get started. But I've got my reference for the uh, bridle, and I'm going to start that now. Time to play with some clay. I better get the light where I can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to turn his ear back because he sees the movement going past him. And uh, I would think that he would turn his ear to uh, listen for anything that it picks up as whatever it is goes by him or her. Okay, I'm working on the back of his ear and it's a bad angle for the camera, but I'm sorry. But it's really hard to get the view when I'm working on the uh, different parts of the horse. He's got to have a, a structure to his ear. Okay. I'm going to have the other ear forward rather than in back because uh, he's skittish I would think and he's just trying to take in everything around him Okay, I'm putting the bridle on. Okay, I just got to take a, care of a few details here. I don't know why I'm so stressed about this. going by reference that I got off Google. I'm going to put the uh, one strap up out of the way. I'm going to bring this strap out underneath his chin or his uh, jowls. No, I can't make it as loose as it probably would be because I have to have it right up next to the uh, I gotta get my goggles on what I mean by goggles is <laughs> my, my uh, magnifiers because my eyes ain't what they used to be Okay. I'm going to put 
that right there. All right. Now, I need the ring. I want to go underneath. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay, I'm trying to line up the uh, joint that I have on the snaffle bit. So that the uh, strap will cover that. There we go. Good. And I got to do the same thing on the other side. What I did was I ran the uh, clay, the uh, monster clay, through the uh, pasta machine, through the uh, spaghetti part of it, to give me the thin straps for his uh, bridle. Okay, now the reins. Alright, this is the last thing I'll do today. I'm going to paint the straps to match the clay so there's no question in anybody's mind what the heck the material is I did this part with. It doesn't affect the casting. It just takes away confusion. What I did is uh, years ago, I came up with a method of 
doing this. I was doing shows at galleries and stuff, and people would ask constantly, what is that material that's so different? And it just saves me a lot of explanation to color it, to make it look like the clay. And uh, it's something I came up with just to save myself a lot of explanations. I took a sample of clay to a local paint store and uh, had them match the color. And it was an indoor paint, water soluble. And uh, non non glossy matte finish paint. I gotta put this light so I can see what I'm doing here. And uh, it just takes away a lot of questions that sometimes you're asked. All right, I will not be here tomorrow. Friday's a hard day for me to come to the studio because that's the day I do my grocery shopping and uh, do a lot of running around, go to the post office. And uh, Friday's is just a hard day to get in here in a timely manner so I can work on my sculptures. And so I'm just going to take tomorrow... And, uh, not come in tomorrow. I'll see you guys Monday, though. Okay, I'll be right back when I get this all done here. All right, that's where it's at today. I reworked the head this week, and, uh, I got it to where I really like the head the way it is. And I've got... The bridle done, which I was really dreading to do because I knew it was going to be intricate, but it worked out just fine. Next week, I will uh, try to get this all worked out here, get the uh, clothing done on the, the cowboy and uh, quit hitting his hat. <laughs> um get him done and then do the mane and the tail and it'll be pretty much done oh and i got to do the base which i will include the uh jackrabbit running by but last week i was ready to tear this thing apart and this week i'm happy happy i didn't I still got his hand to work out and uh, the reins will probably change a little bit. I'm just going to have to play it all by ear. But I'm really happy the way that snaffle bit uh, bridle came out. Really happy with that. All right, everybody, I'll see you uh, next week when we continue on this uh journey with this piece. I've also come up with several titles that I'm going to maybe change this title to because I'm not I'm not totally satisfied with the title I've got on this. It's a little clunky and I want to have it flow a little better. All right everybody um, good night happy weekend and a safe one too. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.